everybody. You know, machine learning creeping into nearly every industry now. Owen Hughes joining me here to talk a little bit more about this. And Owen, this article is really, uh, it's, it's so interesting that the industries that we see machine learning making a difference in now, uh, and we're talking about farming here, which is just something you don't think about much with technology, but wow, what an advancement they're making. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, the endless march of AI kind of knows no boundary, does it? Um, and you think about farming and the kind of the situation that um, farmers are faced with, you know, there's a, a rising population, a rising global population, with that comes a rising food demand. Um, at the same time, farmers have got uh, less land to use, less water to use, and it's it's an area where machine learning can really help by uh, just making the whole process really just more efficient. And we're talking about here robots uh, mm -hmm. being involved in the daily uh, business of farming. Talk a little bit more about the actual technology here. Yeah, so a company called uh, Blue River Technology has developed uh, uh, what it calls kind of smart, uh, intelligent uh, farming machinery. Um, it's got a system called Scene Spray, which essentially combines uh, machine learning and computer vision. And what it does as it moves through a, a field of crops, it can identify which are weeds and which are, which are you know, valuable, valuable crops. Um, something that's quite hard to do to the naked eye, some of them look very similar. And by training these uh, deep learning uh, systems to identify exactly where the weeds are and map them out, uh, this machine can um, target them with herbicide, uh, which firstly means the, the crops remain unharmed, but at the same time, herbicide, which is a precious resource, is, uh, is used to the maximum benefit, maximum efficiency, and very little goes to waste. It's really also interesting, uh, Owen, and, and you mentioned too in the article about PyTorch and how uh, you know Facebook's been involved. So just expand a little bit on on how that plays into all of this. Mm, yeah, so um, PyTorch, as people might know, is the um, AI or machine learning library that was uh, developed initially by Facebook's AI team. Uh, that later got outsourced, um, I think, in 2017, and then Microsoft early this year picked up the sort of the role as um, the technical caretaker for the Windows platform. And the reason Blue River has um, selected PyTorch is because it's simply that it's very flexible. It's very modular. Um, you can kind of build and deploy new models very quickly, which in an applica application such as this is, uh, is really key. Well, again, you know, Owen, just really interesting to see how you know, farming will continue to evolve as technology becomes, you know, even more intertwined uh, with, with the daily business of farming. So uh, much more, of course, on this article that you have here for us on ZDNet. And we hope all of you guys will check that out. We appreciate you watching.